G'day gang, this is Tommy Kendi and welcome to the Tommy Kendi Unfiltered Podcast. It's an absolute honour to have you have your ears listening to this episode. On this episode, we are discussing your soul truth. We're talking about your soul truth and what an important thing is because I believe that soul truth is very different to egoic truth and sometimes when we're going into uh, to living and and you know searching for what it is that we actually want to experience, man, it's it's actually quite hard. It's, it's quite a challenge to to work out what your real truth is as opposed to your egoic truth. And sometimes this and sometimes your your ego can be so fucking sneaky. And show you things that it wants you, your ego wants you to think that that's your truth when it's really not. So today we're discussing three steps towards your soul truth. So three steps towards really uncovering your 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 truth, like the the meat and potatoes, your soul truth, like what what actually lives in you. And I think it's a it's a really epic um, it's a it's a it's a big one because it's a imagine if it was just so easy just to wake up and go oh yeah that's my truth my destiny and then you find out your destiny and you just effortlessly go towards it <laughs> that'd be cool I reckon but unfortunately for us humans we have to do some digging and then digging and once we dig we've got to dig a little bit more but then once we dig a little bit more we've got to even dig a little bit more and then you know what we find out that it's not actually that hard after all but i mean i, I mean look i'm not saying i'm enlightened in any way shape or form but one thing that i do know is that the more digging that i do the more i realize how just obvious some things are and where where I'm coming at it from is that it's a it's it's when you're living in your soul truth I believe we have many soul truths you know we we have many experiences when we're in it it's just like fuck I don't know why but I just I feel put together I feel good I feel like I'm I'm really adding you know to the world I'm I'm adding to myself and I'm I feel like I'm being being fueled, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm gaining energy and I'm, I'm gaining momentum and, 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 and unfortunately, well, fortunately, but unfortunately as well, is that to get to that spot, you really have to be super aware and you know, you're in your soul truth when things are effortlessly moving, you know, the right people come into your life or you create the right people to come into your life and, it's just snowballs. One thing after the next, it keeps moving, keeps moving. And so that is, I, I believe that's when we're in our soul truth, when things just start to happen and it's everything's just a fucking no-brainer. It doesn't mean we don't have to work. We still got to work for stuff. We still got to go for stuff, but it's effortless because we're in our soul truth. So the first step, I believe, in, in terms of this episode and, and where I'm going with it, in terms of going towards your your real your soul truth is and i think this is a huge one and that's why i put it number one stop comparing yourself to others as soon as you compare yourself to others it's you're pretty much telling yourself that you're you're a victim that you're weak and you don't really get a choice in in how life unfolds and where life goes because when you're when you're comparing yourself to people to others to you know your friends your peers I don't know people on Instagram or the socials or whatever it's it's so easy just to look out at the world and find everyone or find evidence to to show us why we're so shit or why we're not getting what we want but the moment you start comparing yourself to others you're fucked and and you have to catch yourself and and the reason i'm saying that is it's it's a massive one because a lot i still do it to this day i so often do it i compare myself i mean i'm you know i've been blessed to have amazing friends but unfortunate well <laughs> not really unfortunate well fortunately but my friends are incredibly successful 
And sometimes I look at them, I'm like, fucking hell, I feel like the ugly duckling at the back of the uh, the back of the pack. Why do I have to bloody create a bunch of great mates that are super successful and they're constantly just showing the mirror in my face what I'm not doing? But the the hilarity of it is, is that any time that I compare myself to to my friends and my peers, I'm just like, hang on a second, what they're actually doing it's not actually my truth. So even if I was doing what they're doing, I wouldn't be enjoying it because it's actually not my truth. So what that sh- what the mirror is really showing is that I'm not really in my own truth, isn't it? So when you go into comparing yourself, you really need to ask yourself, why are you comparing? Like what's the real, not the airy fairy reason and, you know, you can sit back and, and you know, talk shit or whatever. It's not the airy fear. What's the real reason? Ask yourself, why are you comparing yourself to others? It's such a fucking waste of time, I believe. It's it's just yucky. And, you know, have has someone you're comparing yourself to, have they got something that you want or are they having an experience that you want? And if that's the case, then why are they experiencing it and not you? What are you doing wrong? Well, actually not wrong, but what, what aren't you doing or what are you scared of? And, you know, and that's where you, when you do a little digging, when you're comparing yourself, you, most more often than not, you'll actually realize that the people that you're comparing yourself to aren't even, that's not even your sole truth. So you're just doing it for, for a hell of it, you know? So is, is that, is this something you want just because someone else has it, <laughs> you know, and, and more often than not, you'll probably be like, Ugh, okay, so I've been wasting all this shitty energy, all this shitty time comparing myself to someone just because they have something that I thought that I want, but it's, I'm just comparing myself because I thought I wanted it and I just want it because they've got it and I don't want them to have it. I want me to have it. And these egoic, and you've got to be super honest with yourself, guys. You can't just sort of fluff around this stuff when you're comparing yourself is a big one. So step one is, and I'm not saying what you should or shouldn't do. I'm just giving you some tools in terms of my little life and my little pocket of wisdom of what I believe things, the things that work for me. And it's totally up to you whether you take this up for yourself or not, but stop comparing yourself. And even though it sounds like I'm talking at you, I'm really just talking at me. So when I compare, I basically look myself in the mirror and go, Tommy, fucking stop comparing yourself. Like, what is the use? It's such a shitty energy. Makes you feel like a fucking victim. And more often than not, it's you don't even want what these um, these peers or friends or whatever have, right? So that's number one. Stop comparing yourself. Number two is learn how to target your focus you've got to create anchors right so you you but when i was saying before that when you're in an experience where your body is alive your soul is alive everything just moves everything makes sense so you've got to create these little anchors in those moments of what what is actually happening like observe that you're enjoying with even little things like let's say I don't know, you're going for a walk and, and you just have this fleeting moment of, of having a, a realization about something or you're listening to a podcast and as that podcast is yapping on, like say this one, and you have a few little moments of like, oh, you know what, I've just found something out about myself or maybe I should stop or start doing these things. So you've really got to learn how to target your focus because as we already know, Wherever your focus goes, energy flows, and where energy flows, it's like fuel for manifestation. So wherever you're putting your energy, if you're putting your energy into comparing yourself to other people or the world or others or whoever, if you're putting your energy into comparing yourself, you're basically going to get more of things to show you evidence of why you're shit, and then what will manifest is that you are shit, which you're not. You're not shit, but you've got to learn how to target your focus. So when you're targeting your focus, you're targeting your focus into things that actually fuel you. Like what the fuck fills you up? Put your focus on onto those things, towards those things, not the things that you don't want. 
a perfect example. I was talking about this with a, a, one of my coaching clients earlier today is when you just, you're just you sitting around, I don't want to be poor or I don't want to be, I don't know, I don't want to be unhealthy. I don't want to be this. I don't want to be that. I never want to be, you know, I, I'm sick of being this. I'm sick of being that. When you're talking in these these ways, you're actually creating the energy of what you don't want and you're inviting more of what you don't want into your life. So, for example, with me, perfect example, and I've mentioned this a number of times before, I spent years and years and years not be, almost fearing being poor, you know, and I, I was just like, I just don't want to be poor. I just don't want to be poor. What did I create? I always created a situation where I always had a lack of money and I was constantly surrounded by people around me that just showed me the evidence of how poor and how how less money I actually have. So I shifted that into, not into just wanting to make money, because if you just want to make money, you could probably go do some job that's going to, you know, drain your energy and probably earn as much money as you probably want, you know, but you don't want to do it like that. So I put my energy into what do I love? What do I love to do? What do I want to do? What fills me up? What fuels me? And 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 focusing in those areas. And even if it and some people say to me, Well, okay, what well, so I'm just gonna leave my job and start focusing on things I, I want to do. No, I mean you don't have to do that. You can do it in your own way. It doesn't mean you have to turn your whole life upside down. But what if you just started spending a chunk of your day focusing on the things that you want? Is it well, whatever it is? And it doesn't matter. You don't need to know straight away. Little things that bring you happiness. If you start focusing on those things and doing them, they'll be fueled and they'll get bigger and bigger. And then you'll start to create more situations and more experiences like that. And then before you know it, people come into your life and they give you opportunities. And then before you know it, you can leave your job and start doing what you actually want to do, which will turn into something along the lines of what you're currently love. So for, let me give you an example. So let's say I don't know what I want to do, right? And I'm just sort of sitting in my house listening to this podcast as in the Tommy Kendi Unfiltered podcast and here's Tommy going just do something that fills you up and I go oh well fuck you you know I don't know what I want to do but maybe I'll just walk outside right now while I'm listening to this podcast put my feet on the earth and I know that's going to fill me up this is just a really fine example guys and then you go fuck I feel so good now so you keep making situations like that where you get to go out in nature maybe you go on a hike and then you go on a hike and you're in nature and then you're starting to feel fit and healthy and then you're going to you're doing more of that and then you suddenly get people involved and friends go on hikes with you or go on nature and those friends turn into I don't know 50 people remember I had that guy on um from Sydney who started the um the 20 run club what fuck what was it called the uh I know that run club that they have in Sydney and now there's literally a thousand people that meet there on a Saturday morning and all this guy wanted to do was just go and start running because he didn't know what else to do he was drinking he was getting on the gear and whatever else and all he wanted to do was just get outside to follow his truth and now he's got like a thousand people rocking up the fuck I wish I remembered anyway if you go back like 20 or 30 episodes he's on there Trent Knox from the Run 20 Club or some run club anyway in Sydney. Now, literally, have a look have a look at their Instagram. They're fucking killing it. And he just, all he did was just wanted to stop drinking. So he started waking up at 5 a.m., 6 a.m. run club, whatever it is anyway, and uh, and just started walking around on this up and down this hill in, uh, in Sydney. And now he's killing it. He's making money off it. He's doing all sorts of shit. And ultimately, he's helping incredible amounts of people so learn how to target your focus even if it starts small it doesn't matter where you start just start and 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 don't worry about the things you don't want to do it's not about the things you don't want to do it's about the things put your focus towards what you do want what what fuels you what wakes you up what what fills you up the things you don't want don't give them any attention at all the world you everyone knows the universe knows you know your soul knows that you don't want to be fat your soul knows you don't want to be you don't want to be 
poor. Your soul knows you don't want to overeat. Your soul knows all that. You don't need to keep reiterating. I don't want this. I don't want that. It's fucking boring. It's just shit energy. Get into actually being in your power and put your focus towards what you do want. Cool. So that's step two. Learn how to target your focus and create anchors for what really fuels you. Create anchors in, uh, in what fills you up. All right. Number three. This is the third and final one, which is just as important as all the others, but I think this is a big one. This is a big one. Number three. Number three, step three. Get comfortable with being uncomfortable. Oh, and I'm going to tell you why. The main reason you need to get uncomfortable, sorry, you need to get comfortable, almost excited about being uncomfortable or being in discomfort is that it's incredibly uncomfortable to stay stagnant it's incredibly uncomfortable to stay where you are and not move it feels like shit when you don't move when you're not moving forward when you're just being stagnant and you're doing all your own patterns dysfunctional patterns it's also incredibly uncomfortable to grow to to move into into pure growth incredibly uncomfortable because you got to dig you got to do stuff you got to you know find out all this shit like learn how to target your focus all this stuff you've got to you've got to being being in growth is fucking uncomfortable because it's uncertain it's uncharted territory you don't know where you're going. You're pretty much making shit up as you go. So it's uncomfortable because it's it's scary and it's, it's a whole big wide world out there. And oh my God, how do I go out there and start creating my, my truth, my soul truth? How do I do that? It's uncomfortable. So it's uncomfortable to stay stuck and stagnant. And it's also uncomfortable to be in pure growth and going towards what you actually want. But if both of those are uncomfortable, then which comfort or which discomfort, which discomfort do you choose? I know if I was a betting man, most of you would choose the discomfort of growth, the uncomfortability of growth. And it sounds all well and good, doesn't it? But even just that little shift, that little reminder it makes sense, doesn't it, to put yourself into into the discomfort of growth and moving forward. If you had a choice, why would you be in the discomfort of staying stuck and stagnant? No one would. So you do have a choice right now. The choice is, what are you going to do? Are you going to be in the discomfort? And both are just as uncomfortable as each other. Are you going to be staying in your in your discomfort of staying stagnant and, and whatever? Or are you going to step into the discomfort of pure growth? You know, it's it's that's what we want. We want to move true, move towards our soul truth. So you got to practice. You got to practice what truth feels like. There's you know there's the egoic truth, and then the soul truth. The soul truth has a ring to it. It's, it's, you feel it when someone says something true to you or when you say something that's true, you feel it in your body. There's, it's, it's there. You're like, you get goosebumps and whatnot. And the, the, dif- the difference between egoic truth and your soul truth is that soul truth makes you feel uncomfortable because you're making it up as you go and you're trusting your gut. Egoic truth is taking you towards dysfunctional patterns or self, self-destructing self behaviors. So when you're in an egoic and you think you're in truth, but you, you, you're being guided by, by your egoic nature, you could be, it just, let's say that you've, you've gone, you know what, I'm going to do dry, I don't know, February. So you're, for the month of Feb, you're like, no, I'm not drinking, I'm going to eat healthy. So your egoic truth, you get to the, the first of Feb, and you'd sit there on the 1st of Feb going, all right, and do you know what? It's the first day. I'll just have a glass of wine. Yeah, just have a glass of wine. That's 
uncomfortable because you know it's bullshit. It's not your soul truth. But your egoic truth is pushing you towards that and saying, you know what, mate, just one fucking glass of wine is not going to hurt anyone. No one will know and whatever. And then you, you'd have your glass of wine and then you're staying stuck and stagnant and you can almost guarantee that the next day exactly the same things happen thing will happen and you'll never even move anywhere near your soul truth your soul truth comes in and goes all right well this is going to be a bit of a challenge but you know what instead of having a glass of wine let's go for a walk so in that moment where you want the the um the glass of wine or you want to pour it out you put your shoes on and you walk straight out of the house not even thinking twice about it just go straight out of the house you go for a walk and you're done and you're going for it and you just go you know what i'm just going to do a one lap and then maybe another lap and then come back and see what happens after that. Your soul truth could be saying, you know, instead of wine, drink water. I don't know. You, it's your soul truth. I'm not telling you what your soul truth is, but your soul truth is going to be trying to take you towards growth in an uncomfortable way. Your egoic truth is going to be taking you towards destructive or self-destructive behaviors. So um, this is it, guys. There you go. So that's a, it's, a, it's a really big one. And I, and I really hope that you... You have a listen through, um, well, you've already listened through because you're here, but I really hope that you have a, a good think about this and, and really, if, if anything popped up for you that um, that really makes sense or that hit home, please, please, please listen because uh, I think the world will be such a better place if we all live from a place of soul truth. Uh, so yeah, so there you go. Just a quick recap. Number one, stop comparing yourself to others. Number two, learn how to target your focus. And number three, get comfortable being uncomfortable. Fucking love you guys. Thank you for listening to another episode at the um, Tommy Kendi Unfiltered podcast. I love you guts and I'll catch you later. See you guys. <laughs>